Hi, guys. Hey. How's it going, Marc-Andre? Hey. How does it feel to be uh, back in Canada fighting? I know it's not Quebec, not Ontario, but uh, still great to be out here in front of some Canadian fans. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like you said, still, we're in Canada. Um, I do really enjoy being back home, especially after two years that I've been, you know, in the U.S. So now I feel very excited and I can wait Saturday night to put on a show. How did the rest of camp go at Kill Cliff? I know uh, you got a lot of really high-level training partners. I know Gerald Mershart spent a little bit of time there, too. He's fought your opponent. Um, how did everything go and who'd you get to work with? Yeah, actually, I... I you know, I worked with Gerald a couple of times. He's a great dude. You know, he, he's been there, done that for a long time. He fought almost everybody in the middleweight division. So he's a great uh, teammate uh, for us. But I mean, there's so many great guys, you know, every day in the, in the gym. And yeah, everyone can help me uh, in different ways. And I'm so happy to, to be part of this team and uh, evolve. Eric's talked about, uh, I guess, over the last couple of years, you've kind of wanted this fight and now you've got it. Why specifically did you want to fight him in particular? Yeah, I've been calling Eric out for, uh, I think, four years now. Uh, I don't know, uh, back when he fought uh, Lieto Machida, I saw his fight. I was like, okay, I flash on his style. He was more like raw, like, you know, a uh, big dude, strong, not the most technical, but with the big art, you always go forward and it's, it, that's the way that I, uh, I fight and yeah so uh, since then a couple times I call him out uh, on the uh, media and he said okay just do your thing win some fight and we'll see maybe uh, one day and here we are. Did you know that he's he told us up here that he's only got about five fights left he's kind of looking you know ahead a little bit um, do you think that'll play it all into the fight that he's kind of already sort of thinking about what's after fighting? No absolutely not I think he's a real gamer uh, we're both you know, good competitor. Uh, he's from a you know a football background. Uh, I play football myself a little bit too. So, no, uh, I think he's here for a reason. Um, and uh, I think we are at the same you know level of our career right now. So we are we just looking for a good fight, one fight at a time, and that's it. And just last one for me, uh, have you felt that this has been like a different fight from the fan perspective? Like, are you getting a lot more messages than usual just because you are fighting in Canada? Have you noticed that for this fight? Not really. I feel like, you know, since since my debut, you know, I had a very like roller coaster uh, career. Uh, but I feel like I always have the support from my, my Canadian fans, even if I right now I'm, I'm, I'm in the U.S. for the last two years. But I'm so happy to be back. Uh, I'm always proud to represent my country. And I can't wait to feel all the, the energy Saturday night. Uh, yeah. It's Mark right here. Yeah. I, think, I think Edmonton uh, was the last time you, you fought in Canada. Correct. That was kind of dragging on with the pandemic. Were you ever thinking, man, am I ever going to get to do this again? Uh, yeah, man. At, the, at that time, I was like, I was more concerned about finding the right, the right, pieces that I, I was missing to, you know, just to build my career and be at that level. Um, I think my, my first two fights, I was more like not really in the, in the right place at the right time in my life. So since then, uh, everything that happened it happened for a reason. I feel like right now everything is perfectly aligned for me and I'm super happy. Good to hear. And, you know, Eric is a guy who's straight up to light heavyweight for a while, and you have some history there too. Would you ever consider a fight at 205? No, I feel like uh, 205, uh, the guys are very big, man, and I'm not the biggest middleweight, so, but I'm, I, I have my own attributes, you know, I, I'm strong, uh, I can for sure be toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big guys, but I found myself at the middleweight division for, I, I started even amateur as a middleweight. So I've never go, go down to 170, and I don't think I'm going to go up uh, either. So I feel like I'm in the right spot. And uh, last one for me. I mean, main card placement here, big show in Canada. What does that say to you? Yeah, it's, I think it's the perfect opportunity for me right now. Um, I just want to make the most of it. I just want to enjoy the ride. <clears throat> I want to focus on putting a great performance in front of my, my fans, uh, my country, represent my team, and just moving forward uh, on my journey in the UFC. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey, Mark, over over here. Hi. Uh, earlier today, Eric said he didn't think he was entering hostile territory coming into Canada. What do you think about that? And how do you think uh, the Canadian fans will maybe react uh, when you come out and, and face him? No, I think, he, you know, he's, he's a very respectful guy. Um, I think he, he, he's been uh, in Canada uh, before. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like we're both, like, real fighters. You know, we're here to put on a show. And, no, I don't think that there's any favorite, even if I'm Canadian, you know, it's, we're both, I think, a fan pleaser, a fighter. So that's going to be very interesting for uh, everybody. And I know you said you're, you're proud to be fighting, uh, you know, in front of uh, Canadians. Do you have any connections to BC or Vancouver? Have you spent much time out here before? No, I actually, <clears throat> I, I came here before, uh, I think three years ago. Uh, but I didn't have the, have the chance to, you know, walk around and see uh, everything. So I feel like right now I'm... I enjoy spending some good time here, and for sure I'm going to be back, and yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Question to your left. Yeah. Um, before your last fight, in an interview with James Lynch, uh, you talked about how in the first round, uh, it's going to be quite tightly contested. When it makes it to the second round, you were going to pick up the pace and get a TKO victory, uh, and that's exactly what happened. So my question is, do you have a prediction for this fight? I mean, every time, you know, everything can happen in a fight. For sure, we have a game plan. Uh, but I'm, I just want to be myself. I want to, I want to do my own dance. Uh, I know, I know what is good at. I know what I'm good at. So we just, we, we're going to meet each other in, uh, in front, in front of the cage and we're going to do, uh, our things. But I feel like, like I said, every time more the fight goes, more I'm getting dangerous. Um, that's why they call me Power Bar. And uh, again, I work a lot on my, my conditioning, my cardio, my fighting IQ. So I feel like I'm more mature. And for sure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the, for the finish uh, if it comes. But I want to take my time. I want to be smart. And I just want to enjoy uh, every minute of it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Great.